Wow, what's cooking? Okay, something very, very, very quick. Um, I've just been to Tesco and they had some pork produced. And I've got that there. Right at the bottom you can see my one pot recipe. Uh, the pork is chopped up and I've covered it in a tablespoon of uh, oat bran just to help thicken it and seal it. And I've also got in there, oh what a mess. <laughs> I am a messy cook. Uh, some fennel seeds. I think pork and fennel will go great. And there are also some peppers reduced, they're bunged in. All really chunky and wholesome. Chunky mushrooms, chunky peppers, chunky onions. So what's going in there with that then? Okay, I'm trying to find the lean herrings as I talk to you. I should be prepared really, shouldn't I, but I'm not. I tried to be organised, but I just guess I'm a chaotic woman. A bit of lean herrings going in, well, a lot maybe. And some dried garlic. Oh, I feel too lazy to cut up fresh garlic today. How sad is that? There's some dried garlic going in. So uh, I'm going to turn the heat up and let that cook down a little bit. And then I'm going to add some tomatoes and uh, a bit of tomato puree and vegetable stock too. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so <clears throat> I've been going through the cupboards and I love to experiment with lots of different flavours. So I've got some of these angel hair chilies going in. That's the only chilli I could find. I've got a quarter of a stick of cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg and a pinch of uh, cinnamon all going in and there's the oxo, vegetable oxo cube going in and I've also added the uh, two teaspoons of tomato puree. I'm just going to add some water. Oh yes and a couple of bay leaves as you can see. <laughs> it is a bit of an experiment isn't it? Wow. Okay so that's going in. And I reckon that's ready for the tin tomatoes. So there you go. Uh, I've put the bit of salt and pepper in and a bit extra water and the tomatoes and a pinch of parsley. So quite a few flavours going on in there. So I'm really quite interested what it tastes like. So that's going to cook on a low heat for about an hour and a half. And that's this evening's meal ready prepared. So I'm going to turn it off now and let, let it cool and then pop it in the oven just before I go this evening. So there it is, done. A couple of hours later it's reduced down and the most beautiful sauce in there as well. Um, that little bit of oat bran I think just gives it the edge and thickens it slightly. So I've cut the leftover butternut squash and I've just scooped the seeds out and I just cooked it like a jacket potato covered it in foil and bobbed your uncle it's done wow look at that how yummy does that look i think it might be time to eat yummy on no count completely free and tasty Spicy fennel, lean pork with peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, garlic and herbs. Scrumptious.